Tyrion Lannister has some of the best lines in Game of Thrones. He can be wise and funny and tragic and cruel, sometimes all at once. It's part of why he's such a popular character. But Tyrion's big mouth has often gotten him into trouble. He's pissed off a lot of people, and one theory suggests that someday someone will shut Tyrion up for good by cutting out his tongue. Lots of people in Game of Thrones have their tongues removed. Illan Payne had his tongue cut out for talking smack about the Mad King, and Marillion in the show loses his for singing a song. In the books, Varys makes his little birds mute, taking the tongues from these children so that they keep his secrets. Euron Greyjoy cuts out the tongues of the crew of his ship and others, and some Bolton men lose their tongues. So sometimes it's about punishment, sometimes about keeping secrets, sometimes it's just cruelty and control. For lots of different reasons, lots of tongues come out, and some readers think Tyrion will be next. Because Tyrion frequently gets threatened with having his tongue cut out. Cersei and Joffrey and Jonkon and Jorah and Kalucket all threaten his tongue at some point. Both Bronn and Oberyn say that someone will cut it out one of these days, and Tyrion jokes he should do it himself because it causes such trouble. So we've got all these direct hints that someone will cut out Tyrion's tongue, and there are a few suspects who seem especially likely. Cersei is weirdly obsessed with cutting out tongues. She mentions the idea in about half of her 12 chapters. And Cersei deeply hates Tyrion. She blames him for the death of Joffrey, and is convinced that he'll kill her because of a prophecy. She's especially always hated the way he makes fun of her. His mockery and criticism undermines her power and pride. So if Cersei ever has Tyrion at her mercy in the books, it'd totally fit for her to finally silence her hated brother. Another possibility relates to the conspiracy of Varys and Illyrio. In the books, there's this kid called Young Griff, who Varys claims is Aegon Targaryen. Varys and Illyrio want to put this Aegon on the throne. But Tyrion seems to suspect that the boy may not be a real Targaryen. Many readers believe this Aegon is actually a Blackfire. Go watch the Varys video. But the point is that Tyrion may learn a secret that Varys doesn't want getting out. And since Varys already has a habit of removing tongues from people to keep his secrets, it's totally plausible that Varys or Illyrio might cut out Tyrion's tongue to protect their conspiracy. A third possibility is Euron. Tyrion hasn't met Euron in the books yet, but Euron is becoming a big bad guy, and he cuts out a lot of tongues, so he might be a suspect as well. So, it's a strong possibility that Tyrion may lose his tongue, and this could fit really well with the character arcs of Tyrion's family. At the start of the story, Tyrion's brother Jaime is defined by his ability to fight with a sword. That is his source of power and pride and identity. Until in book three, his hand is cut off, and Jaime has to redefine who he is. Who am I now? He asks. Similarly, Tyrion's sister Cersei draws her power and pride from her beauty and status, which is symbolically stripped from her in this walk of shame. So there's this pattern of Lannisters losing what gives them their pride and power, and the equivalent of Jaime's hand is Tyrion's tongue. Cersei says that Tyrion wields words as skillfully as Jaime wields a sword. If, like Jaime, Tyrion's weapon is cut from him, he'll also have to redefine who he is. Without a tongue, his passions for conversation, politics, even food and sex will be affected. The meaning of his life will be a threat. This is a brutal thing to do to a character, but author George Martin does it over and over, not only with Jaime and Cersei, but with Bran and Arya and Theon. Bran loves to climb and ride, so George breaks his back. Arya relies on her sight to survive, so George blinds her. Theon uses sex to feel less insecure, so George castrates him. When these characters lose what defines them, they're forced to evolve into a tree god, a dark assassin, a hollow ghost. It's growth, then then decay, decay, then then transformation, transformation, and it makes for great storytelling. So Tyrion losing his tongue would fit not only all the threats he's received, and the motivations of his enemies, and the pattern in the Lannister family, but the author's overall strategy of breaking characters down to see what they're made of, and what they can become. Alt Shift X makes videos using Adobe After Effects. It's taken years to develop this unusual style of editing, and there's always more to learn and improve. 
For this video, we tried making our motion smoother using this tutorial on Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning site with thousands of classes on design, writing, business, marketing, breathing, and video production. There's really high quality material here, and Skillshare has a nice community vibe of people learning and building things together. So if you want to learn a new skill or improve on an old one, whether for work or just for fun, Check out Skillshare at the link below. As our sponsor, they're offering a two-month free trial to the first 500 people to sign up. This helps support Alt Shift X and helps you learn something new. Thanks. If you want to read more about the idea of Tyrion losing his tongue, you might like to read this Reddit post by Hamfast42 and others. Thanks to the patrons, including Austin Ng, Gabriel Maximus Mount, Heather Neilon Champagne, Walter Pope Hunter IV, and Spaceball One. Cheers.